The last time I had the wind to go out, uh, ran great, but it was kind of lame. It was really good in the crawling areas, and I found out why. I had a teeny tiny little 13 tooth pinion gear on the thing. Wow. Well, now I've got an 18 tooth pinion gear in it. I'm going to show it to you on the table real nice and quick, and we're going to get this thing right back out, and hopefully, this time, it should rip these tires up. Well, probably the dirt under them. I thought I'm going to rip the tires. But anyway, let's take a look at this thing. The pinion to the left is a horrible little 13 tooth. On the right is actually the factory 17 tooth that comes with it. So, pretty big difference. Under the cover is an 18 tooth. This is a 3500 kV Polar Pro motor, I think. It could be a 2700. Either way, it's awesome. Got a Holmes Hobbies SHV 500 V3 servo. Monster X ESC. Um, it is pretty much Windigo all the way around. It does have a Reef's rear sway bar. I just kind of put that through there. These sway bar that it did have, I actually put on the front. So there goes my pinion gears. And so you can also see the servo as well. Now, you know, obviously the most obvious part of this are these big old tires right here. These uh, Mamba, Black Mamba by Proline. And I do have the aluminum hubs because I really want to keep these things alive and running. They have taken some insane abuse from a whole bunch of different vehicles. They're holding up great. I'm going to stop talking, put a 3S in this thing, power it up, and get it outside. All right, let's give this thing a punch and see what happens. Oh, that's better. Oh, yeah. I am getting myself plastered. Oh, yeah. Much, much better. <laughs> Look at those big old clunks. <laughs> oh, man. This is what I should have done the first time. Ha! Nice. <laughs> Woo! No, I can't get that again. <laughs> Can I get that again? I know I can't. broken pin or something. I think I've got one coming loose or something. I don't know. Oh. 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 Ooh. 
this right here actually looks kind of easy. Looks like it's washed out a little bit down here, so let's find out here. Ooh. Ooh. There it was. Haha, <laughs> got it. <laughs> oh, well, you made it up. That's what counts. <laughs> yeah, it looks like that'll do it. Yeah, looks like it uh, just broke a pin. Wonder if I can rip a donut. Nope. Now that was the run I wanted to see. That was fun. That was that was the way that first video should have been. Right there. Uh, I get lucky sometimes when I get out there. The sun will be kind of leaning way back like this, you know? And when I get the jumps, if the sun is right on it like that, you get a nice, beautiful jump. But, hey, if I'm shooting against the sun, it doesn't work very well. But that one little climb up where I did that number and down uh, kind of gives a bit of a silhouette kind of a effect, I guess. Anyway uh truck did fine uh the red cat wendigo um obviously this thing right here it's proven to be really tough i mean really still got the stock plastic drive shafts in this thing um i did ring off an axle pin no big deal these tires are going to be responsible for a bunch of broken pins i've been seeing them out on the market everybody's getting them they're running them yeah these tires are going to break a bunch of pins let me tell you so, but that's just the way it goes when you have an ultra aggressive tire. I mean, just, they're awesome. You guys saw the radio. Um, I sit there and blast it. And I'm like, doo, 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 chunks falling all on me. Yeah. Anyway, I'm happy with these tires. I'm happy with the motor, the servo. Everything ran great. Uh, awesome run. Guys, check that description. I'll put a link for these tires, the wheels. Uh, I'll see if I can find the motor, the servo. I believe he's got a new servo out now. That's uh, the 800 SHV, I believe it is. I think it's got some insane specs to it. But anyway, guys, check that description. Amen, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon, and Red Cat. Use those links. Make sure you're subscribed, and thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.